Hi, I'm Paul Holloway. Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm going to be doing some short videos about NDT. I'm going to try to keep them to two or three minutes apiece. And uh, the first one is going to be about ultrasonic pen probes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you're using the right delay line. This is a 10 megahertz Dakota pen probe and the lines on the tip of the probe are spaced slightly further apart than they are on a 15 megahertz probe. So make sure that you're using the right tip. So on the instrument, make sure the velocity is set properly and then take your zero offset or wedge delay and turn that right down to zero. Then take your range and increase that to about three and that will allow us to see multiple echoes off of the pen tip. Now take your zero offset and increase that so that the first echo off the pen tip goes down to around the zero mark on the screen. Now let's take our range and turn that down. So if you look on my screen, I'm using a fully rectified signal and if the signal strength changes, it will move from a positive lobe to a negative lobe or vice versa, which causes about a five thou difference in measurement. So to avoid that, we can use half of the wave or just unipolar positive or unipolar negative. In this case, I'm gonna go none. Take a look at what my rectified signal looks like. I think the positive lobe, the first positive lobe is pretty strong. So I'm gonna switch that to halfway positive. Now when I rock my probe a little bit, there's a lot less variance in the signal. Now go back to your zero offset and make some fine adjustments to get that uh, gate one signal as close to the uh, calibration step as possible. In this case, that's pretty good. So adjusting the zero offset compensates for the length of the delay line. The other thing we need to double check is the velocity. We can do that two ways. We can use two different steps on the calibration block, or we can use multiples of one step. I prefer to use multiples of a single step. So what we're going to do now is take our range and increase that out to about an inch. So we can see multiple echoes of the 0.3 inch step on my block. Gate two is around the second one. So we look and we say the gate one edge is still 0.300, gate one minus gate two, which is echo to echo is 0.299, which is close enough to 300 to say the velocity number is correct. So in this case, we're fully calibrated. Now, something else to take note of when you're using pen probes is the amount of wear that the tip goes through. So right now, this is a 0.375 plate. If I put the probe on the plate, it measures about 0.372, so that's fine. And as we work and we scrub around with the pen probe and we take readings inside of corrosion pits, what will happen is eventually the pen probe will wear down. And it's important to check your calibration all the time because here it said 372 before, now it says about 0.364. So we've lost about eight thou in just a few seconds of, of uh, inspection. So it's important continually when you're using a pen probe to get your calibration block out and just double check the zero offset number so in this case, it's reading 294. I'd more like to uh, have it at about 0.300. So I'm going to decrease the zero offset value to increase the gate one reading. And now we're, we're back to calibrated. Those are just a few tips on using pen probes. On later videos, I'll talk about thickness testing in more detail. And uh, thanks for watching.